Well, it's the 4th of July, and we have one confused city here that I've come to give a message to. You are horrible Americans in this town. You have confused a lie for the truth, and you have exchanged what is precious for what is an abomination. There are more blue line flags and illegally altered flags in this town, and in Glenwood too. It's, it's, it's a disgrace. In this little rickshaw, I have my dad's flag that was on his coffin when he died and he was buried in 1989. He, he, he died in 88, he was buried after New Year's in 1989. But that's his flag, and the red on that flag is my father's blood. That's what the red on that flag represents. It represents combat wounded and dead soldiers and sailors who fought to defend our freedoms here and abroad. Somehow, all our traditions are changing, our symbols are changing, and even the colors on the flag are changing because people want to usurp the valor that belonged to people like my father, Sergeant Willard Reuben Hoff of the 24th Infantry Division, who was twice combat wounded, once at Pearl Harbor and once in the Philippines, defending the freedoms of this nation and spilling his blood for that flag. Cops and other service groups and a lot of people who got to be respected a little too badly and covet those seats in front just a little too much have taken the blood off of that flag. And it's not for any dumb reason. It's because they're undermining this nation. They're undermining the meanings and the traditions of this country so that when they overthrow our nation, we will be comfortable with the changes that they wish to wrought upon us. When they tear down the ancient landmarks of our fathers, like our flag. And make no mistake, that is what the people who use those symbols seek to do. Make no mistake. And the companies that promulgate them and market them illegally in Minnesota. Because according to Minnesota Statute 609.40, that is a criminal misdemeanor. But guess what? Everybody, including the cops, get away with it. Because cops are not investigated by anybody other than their own boss for anything above the, below the level of a gross misdemeanor. That's the only time any of their crimes ever go to the post board. That's the only time they ever have any independent review for their poor and criminal behavior. The rules need to change, and our, our institutions do not need to change. What we need is people who respect our institutions and respect the ancient landmarks and symbols of our forefathers that gave great sacrifices to preserve, and how flippantly, how flippantly people should tear them asunder and change the meanings. Did they ask South Carolina if they could borrow their stripe? Because that's the eighth stripe on that flag. And that is South Carolina's stripe. Did they ask my dad, whom they stole the valor from, to create this abomination? Did they ask him if it was okay? If they removed the blood from the flag? His blood from this flag. No, they did not. And these abominations did not exist in this country until 2014 after, after Ferguson, Missouri, when an unarmed black man was shot in the back for selling single cigarettes in front of a convenience store. And that's when the cops decided that they needed a little extra support. And these used to say, Blue Lives Matter on. But then they realized how crass it was to name their movement after the black people that they'd slaughtered. So they removed the words off the flag. But they kept the creepy Orwellian discolorization. Make no mistake about that. Reject these symbols, reject the businesses that use them, and reject 